that light is really distracting. <laughs> it's like, oh, I. Right, so we're back again with another uh, behind the visor. Uh, and we're just going to get straight into it today. So if you want to answer the first question, and that is a three-parter. What is your name, age, and where are you from, please, Mr. Viker? My name is Freddie, and I'm 24, and I come from Leicestershire. All right, excellent. And you ride what bike is it? I've got a 2016 Kawasaki ER6F. Cool. Uh, How do you find that? Absolutely love it. Uh, it's perfect for what I need. Nice and comfy, nice and stable, not too quick, not too slow. Does everything I need it to. Decent start bike then. Yeah, you'd say. really good. Cool. And if you don't mind telling us, uh, what is it that you do for a living? I work for a design company um, in the projects department. Okay, so if you can give us a bit of an insight into um, what it was like growing up in Leicestershire. How I came to be in Leicestershire. I'm going to have to think about that. I thought it was just going to be, yeah, I left school, <laughs> started working as a waiter, went to the supermarket. Um, yeah, that's fine. And then got my design job. So I've been doing that now for six months. And you, did you get that through, uh, the did you get the qualification for that? No, um, because I'm more on the project management side of things, you don't necessarily need a qualification. It's yeah. A chance luck. Um, I saw a post on Facebook and applied for that. Initially it was for being in a warehouse. And then we got some promotion within a couple of months. They seemed to think I was better than what I was doing. Yeah, so. it's a bit obvious you were above what you were doing. Right, so this is the kind of the last non-biking question anyway. Okay. So, uh, do you have, what are your in interests outside of biking? Outside of biking? Yeah. Um, so, spare time wise, massive film buff, always watch films, like computer games and things. I think that'd probably go hand in hand, don't they? Um, and then things like, do a lot of sailing, and I've got sailing boats, so we sail locally on the water, go down to Norfolk a few times a year, sail there. So, yeah, keep yourself occupied. Yeah. Cool, so is that like a, for those who don't know, because I don't know, is it like, is it a catamaran? Is that is that what they're called or are they something different? So catamarans are boats with two yeah. holes. We've just yeah. got a single hull racing boat. Yeah. Um, so it's got the zip lines that come off with harnesses to keep the boat level. Yeah. Um, so it's just a little sort of dinghy sailing boat, but it's very quick for what it is. Yeah. And do you compete with that, or have you no, done No, no, my brother used to race at school. Yeah. Um, so I started just sort of helping him, but no, we just use it for fun now. All right. I think that's quite, a, that's quite an opposite to being on a bike, really, isn't it? I mean, you're not, you're not even on land, and no. are also diff quite but different speed. But it's the speed. same for Ealing, you know, when, you, so when the boat starts going fast, you get it up in the plane, and you're hanging out to keep it level. You get that same thrill of... The air rushing by you, surrounding yeah, by you. Yeah, I guess actually, yeah. and you're still, you're still controlling whatever's yeah. you're on. It's you're that on same there. sort of feel that you get from a bike. Uh, okay, so pretty much like biking questions now. Yeah. Yeah, what is your first memory of a motorcycle? Uh, first memory, I went to a birthday party when I was about six years old, and they had a big sort of inflatable ring, and loads of little mini pit bikes. Oh, yeah. So, got to ride around on those, unfortunately. Um, quite late riding a bicycle so I, the older sort of guy must have been about 16 I sort of sat and steered while he um, did throttle and things but yeah that's the first sort of memory of being right. absolutely terrified me <laughs> put me off for at least 10 years <laughs> I think I remember doing something similar like that like a, a summer carnival or something like that it was quads and yeah yeah you kind of I just remember the um like a group of people who thought they were it, you know, stood yeah. around the outside watching, yeah. oh no, he's doing it wrong and whatever. And this is the question that I know the answer to, so I'm going to laugh. But do you have a claim to fame or have you ever had 15 minutes of fame? Yes. Um, wow. So basically I was listed on Wikipedia 
it's part of the medical case because I'm one of the few people to ever be hospitalised for blocking their intestine with jellied sweets. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, so, I mean, you can go into as much or as little detail about this as you want. Okay. Uh, but how, does, how did that come about? I mean, was you... Were you, uh, were you a kid? Were you, you know, seven or eight or whatever? Eighteen. <laughs> no, I've always had this thing where I have to eat sugary things to keep myself going. Um, and it used to be Harry Bow, so I was eating two of the big bags a day. And uh, it turns out your body doesn't digest gelatin. Yeah. It just passes through. Right. Um, but if you eat it in enough quantity, it sort of builds up and, yeah, I block my intestines. <laughs> That is quite, that's quite an achievement, I think. Yeah, um, Dodge thought it was, he couldn't believe it. Yeah, but he thought he could kind of made some miracle discovery or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he said he had to report his findings. Yeah. And then I saw him, it must have been about six months ago when I was still working in the supermarket, and he came to my checkout, and um, he, he was like, I know you. You're him! <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> what is your favourite part of biking? Favourite part of biking is just going different places at the weekends. And um, aside from the obvious enjoyment, it's you know I go to areas of the country I've never been on, meet up with people, meet new people, and that for me is the best bit of biking. Yeah, um, it's just broadening your horizons, having new experiences. Uh, yeah, if you you realise what you get. Yeah, that's right. Because I mean. People who don't know who are watching this, me and Freddie actually met through doing things like this on YouTube. Um, we live rem kind of locally to each other, um, within an hour, I'd say. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and we, we wouldn't have even ever met if it wasn't for biking, internet, YouTube, and stuff like that. So I could probably say every friend that I've made who has a bike is from having a bike, if that makes sense. Yeah, I'd say the same thing. Um, when I started, I didn't know anyone that had a bike. Exactly, yeah, me too. Uh, and what is your least favourite part of biking? Stereotypes. So okay. I think lots of people have preconceptions. If you see someone on a sports bike, they instantly think they're the type of person that goes down the road at 130 miles an hour, in, swerving in and out of traffic. Um, if they ride something like a Harley or a Cruiser, people tend to think, you know, if they're stuck, they're going to get mugged or beaten up. Or, Whatever. There's a lot of stereotypes around biking, and a lot of people have a very bad impression of it. Even even within bikers ourselves. Yeah, I mean that's why. I mean, you, I w as if you've seen the one of me, the video of me doing the interview, you'll have heard me say, um, you know, this is why these series of videos have started. Yeah. Um, to try and get across to people that, you know, we're not just a person with a helmet on, or a thing with a helmet on. We're a person from whatever background that might may be, whether it is a doctor or a student or, or anything like that. I think that's sort of going from that, linking into what we love about biking, is you meet people from all different walks of life, from yeah. all different backgrounds, things like that, you, that necessarily you wouldn't meet day to day. Exactly, and make, you, I guess, being honest myself, some people that I've met, they're political views, their opinions, whatever, I maybe not would have been so friendly with them because of that. No. Um, but because I've met them through biking, I always kind of have been more open-minded to who they are rather than what they think about certain uh, subjects. Because you sort of have a common uh, interest, don't you? Yeah, in terms of yeah definitely. Definitely. Um, Okay, this is, well, we'll be a bit serious and have a chance to have a little bit of a moan. What is your number one safety concern with riding today? People pulling out junctions, aren't they? Junctions, particularly yeah. junctions. I mean, I'm not going into it depth, in depth. Anyone who rides a bike knows it happens. Lots of people in cars don't see you, um, no matter how hard you try or whatever. But in a 20 minute journey home, I had to slam on the brakes four times. Yeah. And two of those, I could reach out and touch the car that I had to brake for. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely people pulling out of junctions, not seeing it. Yeah, so sometimes you can make all the effort to be 
visible to others, yeah. you know, with what you wear and stuff, but sometimes people will still make the mistake yeah. or and things things happen. No, I mean, exactly. I'm, not, I'm not trying to put blame on anybody. But no, I mean, both things, drive cars, you know. Yeah, yeah, things will happen. You don't have the visibility that you do on all Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so this is just the last one. Um, money no option. I'd like to know three dream bikes that you would have. I'll give you... Made it, kind, made it kind of easy because like I said three, it's not just one, so you can have three. Well, three is my dream number of bikes. <laughs> I've always said that. Yeah. So if it was me, I would have a 600 acre bike, the most likely Trump Street Triple. Right. Really, really love that engine. Love the sound of it, love the look of the bike. Yeah. I'd have something for longer distances. Um, unfortunately, I'm slightly limited by my options in adventure bikes, which is being vertically challenged. Yeah. Um, does this count if I've got longer legs or not? <laughs> does it have to be realistic My dream bikes or things I can actually ride? I suppose it's a dream bike, so money no option, height no option, I guess you could say, yeah. So, okay. so second one would be a Triumph Explorer 1200. That's the, 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 the 1200s, aren't they? Yeah. Um, yeah, big adventure bikes, something that's comfy long distance, so you can take a load of luggage. And then, third bike, I want something with charisma. And th the bike I love, just the sound of it, and you can hear it so distinctive, the Norton Dommer Racer. Very good. O almost, cafe races. almost unattainable with money, if we're honest. Oh, yeah. Well, you can't <laughs> buy them, they're all sold out, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, exactly. Well, there you go, yeah. Um, no, but if I was going to be slightly more realistic, I'd still go down the cafe racer route. Probably either thrust on art. I know I'm going to try it. This is weird. Just coincidence, or something like Royal Enfield Continental. Yeah, yeah. That's something with a bit more character. Yeah. So you, you've probably got much one for every occasion. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's one sensible way of looking at it, really. Um. But there's so much variety in bikes. It's, uh, yeah, it's just. I don't know, I've always loved the variety of bikes. It's the same with cars, I mean, I'm absolutely petrol. Bikes, cars, whatever. It's, I like the variety, I like the different things, that, the way they're built to do different things. Yeah. Just yeah. the smell and the sound. Uh, I know, and the worst thing is we're sat here and it's, well, it's been snowing all morning. Yes, so we're, we're recording the one day of the year that I can't ride. Uh, yeah, so we're not even riding, but... Um, <laughs> But yeah, so that's that is Freddie's behind the visor interview. Um, if you want to check out his YouTube channel because he has one, it is what Freddie. The Garden Shed Vlogs. A Garden Shed Vlogs. So that is going to be in the uh, description, with the link, uh, and his channel logo. Obviously, you have just seen uh, on the screen. Uh, so go check him out and subscribe to him as well. And you know, enjoy his vlogs. So for this week, we will leave it there uh, and join us next time.